Andrew Irwin, who's faster, Hickman or Michael Delon? Is this not allowed to be on? I think leader the hot one. Is it tough being one of the best gay sink bike riders in the world? Do you have sex before a race? So I'm, 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 <laughs> Man's I'm got no shame. <laughs> yeah, okay. For John, what your. Can you remember your first TT? Like? Yeah. Okay, no, yeah. I won't go with that. <laughs> 20. When it was black and white. 21. 25 years ago. 20, no, 96, the one's that. I was it's back to not, yeah. not saying nothing's easier or harder in period, but you went on a 250, didn't you? And do you I think do you think is that easier than now having to go on a big bike or go on a 600, or was it harder? Yeah, I, I, would, I would say I would say probably would be than a big bike. What we didn't have in the time was no Milky Quails or rider representatives or anything no, like that. YouTube. We were just yeah, no uh, onboards really to a degree, so we just had to go and save your time and do your thing, you know. Yeah. But, I remember my first lap, it was it was a morning practice still at the time, it was quarter past five. I pulled up behind <coughs> two riders, unfortunately both not with us anymore. One was Mick Lofthouse, one was Lacko Lee Pullen. And they were both giggling their heads off, one had a black visor on and it was raining. <laughs> Lee had a slick on the back, a brand new slick, I was like, what the f... you know, and uh, yeah, it was a baptism of fire, but it, it was... I always call it four seasons in one day, because it was sunny, it was windy, it was raining, and it was foggy, so all on one lap, so yeah, but uh, I'd read the books, I'd spoke to the riders, and I was sort of prepared for it, but nothing does actually Doesn't, prepare you no. for your first time you get out on the bike, but... Like, yeah. when, when people say now to us, you know, oh, like, Milky takes you around and you learn and everything, when you're sitting on your fucking sofa, watching a DVD or whatever, it's got absolutely no comparison. Once you get to the first set of traffic lights and you're flat, you're like, fuck me, the sofa doesn't do this. What, what more questions have we got? We've seen this, we don't get a mention anymore. I think he, Hutchie, Dunlop, Hillier, Cummins, no beginners anymore, we're just rubbish now. Right. Oh, we're the top It would be the senior. top three if all them lot uh, DNF'd. Well, surely that just means whoever normally finishes sixth or seventh. That'd be me. <laughs> That'd be me. I'd win. Yeah, do you think the Isle of White diamond races is going to run? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I ain't, I ain't really heard about, about it for a while now. I don't know. I don't even know who's running it again. Don't know. Have you heard any more about it? No. No. Not really. Uh, I've only heard this canned, isn't it, for 2021? Yeah. I think the well, canned for us. Uh, I don't know. Good luck to him. I'd love to see him in the road race. Don't yeah. get me wrong. We'll all, we'll all try and support him. Yeah, support him 100%. You know, I just think maybe. October's not a great time, but when do you run it? Uh, you know, just, I think that they've got to get everything lined up, all the planets lined up with everybody and the parish councils. And, you know, I don't think maybe she wants to go and uh, <clears throat> get a prescription from the corner shop with the road to show it's going to be happy. Yeah. But, uh, you know, good luck to them and uh, I hope you all succeed. Yeah, it's good. Well, it's, it's nice even to see they're putting in effort to try and progress road racing rather than everybody just slating it off. What are we saying? Who's your BSB hero? Who, what's, what's that answer? You got a base? You won't have a base B hero because you didn't really look to base B when you were young, did you? It was more like road race. Oh, yeah, I said no. Uh, I don't really know, really. I don't really care, would you? You look them in the mirror every morning when you're brushing your teeth. Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oliver's mouth. There's been some good riders through BSB, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, I. What advice would you give your 16 year old self? That's a good question. I can ask both of you that one. Fuck, that's a waste of time. <laughs> Get a real job, stay at school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, listen at school. No, that, you'd have to be younger than 16 because I'd already left me then. Yeah, if uh, you were just starting racing again now, what would you change or what would you. What would I change? Uh, do you know what? I don't know. I, I've, I've quite enjoyed what I've done in racing, to be honest. I think about it's been, it's been good. And I think sometimes. People say, "Oh, you should have done this, you should have done that," but I, think, I, mean, I believe that everything happens for a reason, doesn't it? Sort of thing. Yeah. So I, I just think it is what it is, and you just make the most of what you've got. Yeah, but it's easy. Oh, it's easy. Done. It's easy for you to say that because you've landed on your feet your whole life, John. <laughs> 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 Look who's talking. <laughs> 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 what so good good question. And I'm, I'm very similar to Dean there. I just, I wouldn't change a lot. It's not as if I had a started off with two million quid and blew two million quid. I started off with nothing and achieved a lot of things. And Made two million quid. <laughs> but probably earned two million quid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, just 
I don't know, I just had a dream at 16, I thought it was going to be a TT winner. Motorbike race, I don't know how I was going to do it, but nobody was going to tell me any different. Uh, you know, my dad sent me to college to learn to be a brickie, even though everybody thinks I've never learned a brick in my life. What do you mean that? It means it's been through shit. I can, cut, I can cut all that bit out. Thank you. He, he once got a land of trowel and just got it engraved and ever. <laughs> yeah. Well, you couldn't get a license, road racing license, until you're 18, so you had to wait till you're 18 to get it. But yeah. you know, the best advice I got was get off the get off the roads and get on the track. You know, because I was going to hurt myself or hurt somebody else. You know, so. And I think I think most people that do race and do averagely well, or like all, all you can think is if you've done it as well as what your ability has allowed you, you don't really ever want to change anything, do you? Like, I know Whitham says that he thinks he's massively overachieved for yes. what ability he has, and, and I think only if you're lazy and you didn't bother, then you want to change things because you think you haven't done what you've done. Whereas I think I've fucking absolutely blagged whatever ounce of little ability I had and, and drained it all out. But yeah, one thing, one thing that probably helped me back in my racing was my training. My weight, you know. What? What? Do you, what do you train weight, weight too fat. Just too, a bit too heavy. Isn't it? Weight gaining or weight it's training? Just weight gaining. Just not. <laughs> so well, it's it's probably. I I wouldn't I wouldn't change anything because, like, I've achieved That's more what than you I wanted to do. I it? haven't changed. I haven't achieved more than I ever thought I would ever going to achieve. But yeah. when you get told you're fat by team managers and all that lot and lose weight and all that, it does grind you down. So. In, in, it's probably been driven into me that I should have been a little bit lighter through my racing career, but yeah. But has it has it made you has it made you not want to eat any burgers now? No, no. No, but still no, eat no, burgers. This, this sounds deaf, right? <laughs> when when you were on your game, right in TT, what did you wear? Probably thirteen and a half stone. Maybe right. thirteen stone. What 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 were they telling you you should wear? Gun? Twelve and a half. <laughs> well, come on, what, right, but stones. Right, right. Let's be realistic. You've got a two hundred horsepower suit bag. A stone ain't gonna make a shite of difference. I'm sorry. Well, I. I I agree with you, and I'll stand on until I, I go in the ground. Right, I'm happy. In, in Isle of Man, right? I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm but happy. so you, you can go to your grave knowing that you wouldn't have won any more by being a skinny bloke. Maybe a bigger possibly, grave. Possibly, possibly on a smaller uh, bike, maybe a smaller well, capacity I agree with bike. That. Yeah, I told you, if you ride one two fives, I, I agree your stone would have made a, it would have made a difference. But when you're on a suit bike in Isle of Man, I think your stone away is an advantage. I think a bit of weight on the bike helps hold it down. Like, look at Lee. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the he's air He's in a time. suit bike. Yeah. Like an empty track suit on the back yeah, I mean, That's what I mean, it's like, well, if you've got a bigger yeah, person... I know what you're saying. I, I, I do agree with you, but... Like, yeah, so I, I'd, like to, I'd like to be heavier, do you know what I mean? So it's always a catch. Catch yeah, 22. You're in as well, isn't it? You talk yeah. yourself out of it sometimes. Right, last, last question. I've seen one. I've seen one. Oh, how... Seen one about what do you think your best result will be this year in BSB, or what? What would you class as being satisfied with? What position? Uh, realistically. What's your best result so far? Twelfth. I've I've been twelfth in three times now. So you, you want to? I was twelfth at Alton 10, Park. I was twelfth at Alton Park. I was twelfth at Aston, and I was twelfth at Cadwell. To be fair, at Cadwell, for first out, first sort of eight laps, I was like top ten. Uh, yeah. And then I dropped back to 12th, to be fair. Um, no, if I could squeeze a top 10 realistically, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. I hope that's not a bad result for PSP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for what I've been doing. What, uh, about, what about you, John? Uh, Do you think you should get on the podium? Me? Yeah. What, in the Catty Cup? I, think, I honestly think yeah, if, there was, if there was prize money, you would be on the podium. <laughs> there is there prize is money. Quid. I want 100 quid for finishing fourth, Alton, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really no, sure but if, yet, if there was, if there was realistically, say, if there was a grand prize money, right? Would you get on the podium? I would stick my neck out for a grand, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've been in like a couple of six, seven. So I just didn't apply myself last year. I'm just going through the motions. But if I did, are you going to apply yourself I, this year? No, nah, probably not. But I'll try my best. So I'd like to get on the podium. It'd be nice. But if, if we could say that if you get on the podium, it's down to this vlog because we've motivated you. What about you? Would you, you? Th- would you thank you us? Question. What about you? What's your best real so you've got to win the championship. I need to. Uh, I, don't win win the championship. I don't know about winning the championship. Why not? To be honest, I thought in the winter time a few lads had fucked off, so I thought the chances <laughs> were looking better, but there keeps new boys coming in, so yeah, it's fucked it again. I'd like to I'd like to win a race. You can do it. Yeah, I'd like to win yeah, a race. I've got a tenner on you, just a tenner. Fuck me, that's like any normal person putting on the quid on. <laughs> yeah, so we'll probably try and get... Oh, Police. We'll try and get some footage of these two modelling as well. Sure maybe a little, maybe a little shirt off exchange. 
see, uh, I don't know if the camera will pick them angles up. Well, mine. He says he says he's taking it home and he gets it for free anyway. So you're not actually, you're not actually <laughs> stealing the t-shirt. You you actually get them for free anyway. It's part of the job. <laughs> so we finally got here. John's already on the pinch. And look at what he's pulled out of the van. Absolute belter. This is not the one rotor beat you on, no. This is. Wadib, Matt Wadib. Still, still wounded. Oh yeah. So we've got, we've got here. Yeah, my chain came off. But, uh, we've got here. We started taking some photographs. Um, I've took a few. Dean's in now, so I'll show you what it looks like when they're. Yeah, so this is probably a little set. We all sort of take turns. I've got some of the clothes on. We'll all do different t-shirts, jumpers, hoodies, whatever. I'll probably be here for four or five hours. And then another little nip back down the road. Another steady three and a half hours, something like that. Maybe get another few questions or two in and uh, see what else the boys have to say. He's not taking this very seriously, is he? Did you choose the model life or did the model life choose you, John? Just, just a horror, right? <laughs> you're a 49 year old fat old middle aged man, I just can't pull this deal off. <laughs> Fucking hell, he's a wizard, isn't he? <laughs> he's a magician. <laughs> It's hard to keep going for the young lads. He's yeah, got to yeah, do it for the yeah. older lads. Yeah. We've got him a new label. It's called FC Size. <laughs> Some things never change. Uh.